NBC26's Kelsey Dickison talked with Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate Sarah Godlewski and breaks down her platform. I'm a proud fifth generation Wisconsinite from Eau Claire. Sarah Godlewski currently serves as the state treasurer, a position she's had since elected in 2018. I lead a $1.3 billion investment fund, and those funds actually benefit our schools. And so one of the big things was during the pandemic, I actually was able to provide a special distribution for our public schools to buy hotspots and e-learning books and really address the digital divide. Godlewski toured the YWCA of Greater Green Bay Wednesday morning, talking to child care child leaders about the current landscape. This is a critical industry for our communities because if you don't have child care providers, you can't participate in the workforce. When looking at inflation and the high cost of gas, Godlewski says in addition to suspending the federal gas tax, she wants to hold fossil fuel companies accountable. One of them is closing the fossil fuel tax loophole. They're getting anywhere between 2 to $20 billion a year in tax subsidies. That money should actually be going back to working families. And given the mass shootings we've seen across the country, what do you think needs to be done to curb gun violence? We need better background checks and we need to close these loopholes. We need national red flag laws because we don't want a domestic abuser to have a gun. And finally, I do not believe we need weapons of war in our communities. Godlewski says she knows this type of gun reform may require her to meet those on the other side in the middle. You've got to come to the table, you've got to listen and actually participate in these conversations. But as someone who's pro-choice, Godlewski says abortion access is one thing she's not willing to compromise on. While I've always been pragmatic and I always will be pragmatic, for me right now, my focus is on making sure women just get this right back to choose because it's a fundamental right that was taken away. We don't have enough pro-choice Democratic women at that U.S. Senate table, and it's one of the reasons why I'm running is because women's rights will never be an afterthought for me. The primary election is August 9th. The winner of that election will likely face Republican Senator Ron Johnson in the November general election. In Green Bay, Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26.